even though in the developed world we have seen urbanization already largely run its course. Today, 8 out of 10 inhabitants in the US and 6 out of 10 inhabitants in Western Europe live in large cities with 150,000 or more inhabitants. Uh, urbanization at the world scale is far from finished. In fact, we are at the face of, and of speed and scale of urbanization we have never seen before. So let me illustrate that by comparing the experience of the United Kingdom, starting in the late 1800s and continuing on the 19th ones, and China today. When the United Kingdom started its urbanization and industrialization, and the period it took it to double its average GDP, there were 9 million people in the UK, and it took them over 150 years to double their income. It was a slow process. A lot of things were at the cutting edge of how things were doing with the spinning machines, etc. It was a long, torturous effort to do on the first time. What we see in China today is a dramatically different speed and scale. We are talking about the same time period that it takes to double income at the relatively early stage. In China, instead of 9 million, there is a billion people going through the same process. And they are doing it in much faster time, in just a little more than 10 years. So in a way, we have 100 times the number of people, and we have 10 times the speed in the process of urbanization and industrialization. And this means that if you multiply the two, uh, that gives you 100 times 10, that's 1,000 times the economic force. And that really is behind of why today's urbanization is such a strong economic force. It is the amount of people, or the number of people, and the sp speed at which they are moving into more productive occupations that is driving China's growth, and increasingly also it's the um, engine of global economic growth.